In this video, let's see how we can create a basic wobble bass sound. Now there are two variations of this. One is where the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter is modulated with an LFO, and one where the amplitude of the oscillator is modulated with an LFO. Okay, so we'll do the filter cutoff modulation first. I've loaded a new sound. I'm gonna use the default sawtooth wavetable, but pitch it down an octave. I'll turn on the second oscillator and set that to the square position in the wavetable. Send both these oscillators to filter 1. Let's load the acid filter. Alright, now I'm going to assign this LFO to the cutoff of the filter. I'll shift the phase of the LFO so it drops first and make sure the X fade curve faders all the way up. We could assign this rate control to a macro so it can then be controlled via a MIDI controller. And now we have a basic wobble. Okay, let's mute this modulation for a second. And assign the LFO to the side chain input of the amp modulation section. And now we have the amp modulation wobble. The filter could be opened up a bit more since it's not being modulated. I think I'll push up the cutoff a bit more. So there you go, amp modulation wobble. Of course, you can have both modulations running at the same time to get a stronger wobble and still control both parameters with this one macro control. Let's detune that second oscillator down an octave too and see what that sounds like. Yeah, I'm liking that register. So that's the basic wobble bass. In the next few videos, we look at creating some more complex variations of this sound.